Minister of Labour, Ernest Bevin. Every decent person in the whole world will join with us and saying to the ranks of all the forces and our glorious allies, thank God for the courage and devotion of the sons of free peoples. We know that now we must back it up with intelligent organization and adequate supplies of every kind and a victory is assured and assured quickly. Nothing must stand in the way. Money, material, energy, everything must be used for the supreme effort. Victory. I must interfere with your pleasures and your leisure. I'm 
such loss may mean the loss of some of our precious lads. Such loss. Such loss.
Coal was vital to the war effort. It provided the fuel and energy to sustain war production. The government tried different schemes to encourage former miners back into the mining industry. In 1939, there were 773,000 miners. But by 1941, this had dipped to 700,000. To 700,000. The government tried different schemes to encourage former miners back into the mining industry. In 1943, the situation became critical with coal stocks down to an all-time low. clear that some young men would have to be directed into mines and the Minister for Labour, Ernest Bevin, came up with a scheme that he thought would be the fairest. That he thought would be the fairest. Time to time, the draw would be made of the numbers from 0 to 9, and those men whose National Service registration number ended with that number would be selected to work in the mines. The tradition is that Bevin would put the numbers in his hat and an office boy would draw the number. His name kept secret to prevent him from being attacked by the mothers of the young man selected. Many young men were really upset have been so randomly selected. Some of them, like John, had spent years training in cadet organizations, such as the ATC, in preparation for joining the service.
experienced miners understood the need for more coal, but were less than convinced that employing young men without mine experience was the best solution. Bevin boys were more commonly employed to work on underground haulage. This is where John worked. John worked. Moving coal from the coal face to the pit bottom. In time, a person's work rate, aptitude and skills will be noted and many bevin boys end up working alongside experienced miners. The dangers of working on a coal mine were vast. Bevin boys were no exception to these hazards. Bevin boys were no exception to these hazards. Derailing tubs was another common cause of injury. Derailing tubs was another common cause of injury, together with cuts and bruises. Cuts and bruises. Cuts accumulated during the course of a working day. Of a working day. of a working day. Accumulated during the course of a working day.